tell you guys, guys more about it on the flight. The Rome station in Paris. Oh, let her be late. Dominic Cruz learning about the history of Paris. Guys, you love my outfit. I'll put a picture on the screen. They're twinning. They're twinning. They're twinning. She made Nigeria. I tell you. We're representing Nigeria. Bondo. <laughs> Bondo. Egi. Egi. Okay, Tiri. Bye. Bye, Ke. Ouli. So we are at the end of the cruise. I love my outfit. I think I'm going to fly back home with this. And it's very comfy, to be honest. Very comfy. I'm in Paris. I did a lot of videos for you guys. So subscribe. Follow me on Instagram. Amazing cruise. It was nice. It's nice. Although we're not listening to the tour, but we took lots of pictures and videos. So we got on the cruise, and this is Eiffel Tower here. Here, Eiffel Tower, and yeah, I've got an hour left if I get to the airport. I don't know what we're gonna do. Should we go to the Shows hotel or should we just call it a day? Only in Paris, on the streets of Paris. Look at this. This is so cute. And the Eiffel Tower is right here. The love, uh, what do you call it? The love padlock? What is it called? Something padlock, anyway. There's another one there. Yes. At this point, we are exhausted. <laughs> we are exhausted. Like, we're trying to make our way. The train now to the airport. I can't even speak. I'm tired, guys. I'll catch up with you guys on the train or. Um, at the, at the airport. I've got like two hours plus before my flight. I almost made my flight this evening, so I'm not about to miss my flight this evening. So I'm giving myself enough time to get to the airport. Okay, see you guys soon. See you again. Eiffel Tower. Yeah. Then we are here. My friend is trying to be a vlogger. Yes, we are still in central Paris. I don't know what that is. If I find the name, I'll put it on the screen. But it's such a beautiful city. I've been here. This is my seventh time in Paris. But every time, it still feels like this is my first time. It's such a beautiful city. It is such a beautiful city. Like, it's beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. Au revoir. Au revoir. 
Why didn't you learn how to speak French or read French before coming? Not good enough. Ça va bien, merci. Bonjour. Manger. Manger. I need to Station Paris. Rome, Rome. So we are on the train on our way to the airport. So this is where this is that's the next stop, and that's where we are going. So and it's about seven, ten past seven, and my flight is at eight fifty-five. So I still have enough time. But like I said, I gave myself enough time because I'm not about to be late or rushing to get on the flight. So guys, let's see. This is what the train looks like. We are not crying. I'm seeing you soon, Billy. I know. I'm seeing you very soon. By the grace sooner of God. Than, sooner than we expect. Yes. What God yeah. cannot do does not exist. exist. Yes. Yes. You, you, hey. I'm going to miss my friend. I have fun. I have a lot of fun. I had an Mad amazing fun. day in Paris. For my leg off. Seriously, thanks like. To thanks to Shiv. Thanks to Billy. <laughs> and then your slogan. Oh, Benvenu? No. Benvenu. Um, Pardon? Merci. Merci, merci. Au revoir, au revoir. Au revoir. So I had to pay 29 euro for this. Hi guys. So I got to the airport, checked in. I had to first thing I had to pay I had to check in my bag because it was too heavy I had to pay 29 euros for that and to be honest I was expecting it I got here to the gate and the flight has been delayed for over an hour yes I was trying to speak to the ladies they were a bit rude but I'm not about to entertain anyone tonight because just to see the way I look that's the way I'm feeling I am exhausted so I'm just here I had to borrow a charger from someone because I mistakenly checked in my power bank and my charger so luckily the guy this guy behind me he borrowed me his charger I don't know how long he's going to <laughs> let me have the charger for the I would manage it so I'm just here there's a PlayStation I'll show you guys a PlayStation it's really in a nice cute airport to be honest I'm not upset I'm not bored because at the end of the day whatever time I get to England I'll get to England you know I'm not about to stress myself about it I'm just worried with the fact that I'm going on a train back home and hopefully I hopefully I don't miss the last train apart from down to be honest I don't mind I'm cool it's okay like it's, it's not like I was I don't know I'm just okay to be honest I don't I, 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 I thought I would be upset because I am exhausted but you know you just feel like what can you do daily anyway I've had an amazing day so I'm not gonna let this flight delay they take away all the take away the all take away all of the fun I've had today I've had an amazing day I've been able to re, uh, re, reunite with my friend we've been friends for over 20 years and to finally re reunite with my friend in Paris, like, it's an amazing experience. We had an amazing time. I don't even know where I'm going to start from editing the video because last weekend I went to Wales. I need to edit that video before I put on the Paris one. But I am exhausted. Two days, in two days' time, I'm going to meet in Keynes for work training. Two days' work training. So I've got, like, back-to-back -back content for you guys. So, guys... By the time you watch this video, I will have uploaded this Wheels one. A busy week for me, but I doubt if I'll put out any content this week because I'm tired. But, okay. So I'm not going to end the vlog here. I think I'll end the vlog when I get home. I want to show you guys the PlayStation right in front of me. I'm going to show you guys what the airport looks, looks like real quick. I was going to do some, I was going to film some videos earlier, but... I was rushing because I thought I was gonna. I don't want to be late for my flight. That go here was delayed. 
like I said, I can't be bothered to be upset. You know when you're just exhausted and you can't be bothered to be to be to be upset. I am just here, my feet are up and I'm just waiting for them to tell us when we will to board this flight. As long as I get home today, I just, you know, when you feel like you you are too exhausted to be tired, that's how I feel right now. So yeah, I'll show you guys the PlayStation. And my friend is calling me now, so I'll speak to you guys shortly. I know you've been enjoying the Paris vlog so far. At this point, I still had my passport with me. So they have this um, PlayStation section. If you're bored while you're waiting for your flight, you can come and play. My son will really, really love this. I can't wait to show this to him. After two hours delay, we're finally, finally boarding and I'm not even sure if I'm go how I'm going to get home because I might have missed my, I might have, I might have missed the last train leaving London to where I live, well, like, I don't know, I don't know, but when I get to London, we will see, we will see, but I am exhausted. I fell asleep while waiting for this plane to arrive. <coughs> it's been a long day. And then I remember when we got on, on the plane, I was very thirsty because I've been waiting over three hours now for this flight. And I asked the lady at the entrance of the plane, please, can I have a cup of water? Then what had happened was the water poured on my passport because like I said, at this point, I was sleepwalking into the plane. I was so exhausted. I've been up since 3 a.m. And this was about 12 a.m. So I've been up for close to 24 hours. So I was tired, exhausted. I was exhausted. I was just sleepwalking into the plane. So when I got on my seat, the water I had with me poured on my passport. I said, oh, oh my God. But luckily we poured on the part, the biometric part where the... The laminate, so the water poured on the laminated part of my passport, which was good. So I just wiped it off. And I, I think I mistakenly, maybe I left the passport in front of the pocket, in front of my seat. Or maybe the passport dropped on the floor. Like I said, at this point, I was sleepwalking. So when we arrived to Gathwick around 1 a.m., this, is, this was about 1 a.m. I was. I, it took about 20 minutes from the... Um, arrival points to the immigration point. Ah, it was quite a long walk. I don't know why they made us do walk that long. I actually wanted us to lose some calories. Anyway, so by the time I got to the immigration bit, I, I opened my bag to, to bring out my passport and I remember, oh my God, I left my passport on the plane. Because I only have I only had my handbag with me. And if my passport was not in my hand and the passport was not in my bag, then most likely I would have left it on the plane. So I went back, that's another 20, 20 minutes to get back to the plane where the plane was packed. And by the time I got there, obviously the plane was shot. I saw some security guards and asked them, oh, please, the, I just arrived on this plane from France and I left my passport on the plane. They told me that, oh, unfortunately, there's, there's only limited access to the plane for obvious reasons and that it doesn't have access to go into the plane to check for me. And I can see that the gate, the door is closed. I will have to go back to immigration and let them know so they can send someone to go onto the plane and search for my passport for me. So that 20 minutes walk back to the immigration point was the longest 20 minutes of my life. And I was thinking, what am I going to do? What am I going to say? Am I going to get deported back to Nigeria? Am I going to get st stuck here for a while? Different thoughts in my head, like what is going to happen to me? And now I think about my mom, <laughs> if you know my mom, oh my gosh, she loves to panic. And I thought, I, I didn't for my mom. I wasn't even nervous for myself. I was more nervous for my mom than myself. Go to the immigration point for the queue where you'll be seen by an immigration officer who will then verify your details and then if they're all good you'll be let into the uk and i was looking at the queue like who, sh who should i go who, who should i go to which immigration officer should i go to this one looks a bit friendly this one looks a bit mean you know when you're just debating your head like <laughs> and it was my turn and they said next and i went to the guy available officer and i said to him oh i think i left my passport on the plane I don't have my passport with me and i think i left it on the plane and they looked up and looked at me like okay i'm listening 
said i had water on the plane and water poured on my path because i remember very well and i think after that my pattern must have dropped on the floor where i was sitting or in the box or in the pocket in front of me at, at this book i said i can't remember because i was sleepwalking at this point so he said to me come with me you know when you watch um uk border force i remember when we were watching many years ago question point where if they are not too sure about your status your document you're put in that section for them to verify who you are before they let you into the uk so the guy said oh you have to wait in this section for me i need to verify who you are i said ah delete see your life and then i get deported back to nigeria will i be stuck here for a while would, would i was so confused i didn't that section had like glass walls, glass walls. So everyone, so everyone walking past could see you literally in that section, waiting for you to be verified before you can let be let into the UK. I think that section is an undignified way of letting people wait for them to verify who you are before they let you into the UK. Because everyone walking past could cl could clearly see us waiting in that section. They could have at least a, a proper wall. It came back like we didn't five minutes or less than that i can't remember but i wasn't in that room i wasn't in that i wasn't in that section for too long but let's just say five minutes and then he said to me oh and um, then he called me so i went to him and he said oh i've verified who you are and i will i can i would let you into the uk but you just need to speak to easyjet downstairs where you to if they can find your passport for you so just like that my god never flop it was like, like within five minutes they verified who i was and they just let me into the uk so i went downstairs to easy jet and this was about 3 a.m obviously easy jet was closed for the day they didn't have the first flight was departing gatwick around five in the morning so i was thinking should i wait or should i not wait because i wanted to leave that place with my passport unless i would have to maybe cancel the passport apply for a new passport and literally just got that passport I literally just um, renewed my passport in February this year. So I was not about to lose passport. I said, oh, what should I do? So I waited for like maybe 30 minutes. And I saw one of the EasyJet staff. I think she was there. She said, oh, I'm on break. What is? What can I help you? I said, please, can you check if someone can go into the plane? I told her where the plane was parked. Where I, I, I just arrived from France a few hours ago. And can you please check for me if my passport is on the plane? I sat on, um, I think, 12E, if I can remember very well. And then she said, oh, I'm on break, but I'll check for you. So she went to speak to someone at the back. I don't know who she spoke. I said, oh, I have to wait till the morning because they have cleaners that go into the plane, clean the plane. And if they find any lost properties, they do hand it into the immigration officers. If for like, for example, for a passport or hand it over to the lost and found property. Most likely it will be with the immigration officer because it is a passport. I said, oh, I tell you, it's only three, four in the morning. I was, at this point, I was exhausted. I felt like, no, I got to go. I got to go. And then I was trying to then book an Uber because obviously I've missed my last train. So I was not trying to book an Uber, but there was no Uber available by that time. Then someone said to me, why don't you just download a boat? And I'm thinking, like, boat? I've heard of boat before, but I've never downloaded the boat app before. And anyway, I downloaded the app and to my surprise, boat is about £30 cheaper than Uber. Like, no one, how come no one told me that? So I've been spending extra money for Uber. Anyway, I have deleted that Uber app. So I downloaded the app, um, boat app and I booked my cab home. I got home like four in the morning. I was exhausted. I woke up two hours later, took my son to school, came back. I tried to contact EasyJet. I tried to contact Gatwick, immigration officers. I couldn't get through to anyone. But this time I was very exhausted. So I slept. And it was about two, I woke up about 2 p.m. to go pick my son up. And then when I woke up, I got an email saying, we found your, your passport. I'm thinking, that easy, like, my god never flop <laughs> anyway then i there was a number there was a number in the email saying contact us for how to receive your passport but further enough i received a call immediately from one of the um, easy jet staff and they said to me oh, we have your passport are you able to come to gatwick to pick it up and i'm like gatwick <laughs> do you know where i live do you know where i live i said please it's too far can you please post it to me? so oh, sure thing and i said please can you post it by registered post because obviously I want it to be a secure post so that I don't lose the passport after all the drama I've gone through. They said, oh, sure, but you're going to post it by registered post. And within a day or two, I got my passport back. I think for me, the scary part of the whole experience was that five minutes when I was waiting for the guy to verify who I was. Because I said to you earlier, he went to the back to verify. I was thinking, what will happen to me next?
Am I going to get deported to Nigeria? Where will I go in Nigeria? Or would I have to be held here for a while? Do I have to go back on the plane, wait for EasyJet, wait for the first flight, wait for the first EasyJet flight in the morning to go onto the plane and search for my passport? Because it has never happened to me before. I've never had anyone losing their passport before. So it was something that it was so new to me. I'm like, where do I go from here? Last week, I said to myself, I'm going to claim from EasyJet because they delayed me for over three hours. I had to pay money for cab and the train money, the train I already booked for, I couldn't use the train ticket because obviously the trains were, were closed. But then I arrived back in the UK. That I am going to make a claim from EasyJet. So I made a claim like Monday last week. Flight me and they said to me, oh, we're sorry about the delay, blah, blah, blah. We're going to make a payment of so, so, so into your account. I was like, yeah the reason why i lost my passport was because of easy day because if my flight wasn't delayed i won't be that tired i will be more alert to know where my passport i don't i don't even know me i'm not a careless person i like to keep my stuff i hate looking for my things if you know me you know that this is i'm not a careless person so for me to lose my passport i knew that something would have gone wrong and i can only blame easy Jeff because they delayed us for three hours three hours in france in paris like i don't know I, to be honest i wasn't telling i was waiting but then when i lost my passport that just pissed me off really but thank god i found my passport now and it's right next to me here baby in my pocket because i need that passport anyway guys thank you so much for watching today's video don't forget to like share subscribe all of those good 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 stuff and i'll see you in my next video bye bye